Okay, everyone, welcome back to Bear With Me. We were just finished talking to Rusty. And I still don't have no idea what the Yellow King is. So let's go. Can we go into the our parents' room? Oh, that was weird. She walked through the wall. It's locked. I mean, of course it is. Okay, let's go in the study. Hold on, before we do this, I want to go back out real quick because I remember I saw a staircase. I want to make sure I cannot go down there. I have no idea what the yellow king is. I'm serious. Where in the world did that come up? Stairs. Such an amazing piece of woodwork. The amazing stairs, everybody. Gather round, young and old. Witness this new technological marvel. So sassy. That's just... It's just weird. Yep, it's weird. That's a shoelace. A door that leads to the attic. No, really, that's all there is to it. It leads to the attic, hence the name, the attic door. Okay, now we'll go into uh, the study. Lex iniusta non est lex? Bunny made up words. Although they have a certain righteous ring to them. Well, that was Latin. I don't know what it means, though. Let's take this bad boy for a spin. <laughs> Achievement around the world. Hey, a flashlight. But. There are no batteries inside. There's bound to be some in the house. We can ask Rusty if he'll give us one of his. I'll take the flashlight with me. We'll have to find another way. Okay. Whoops. There's a number written underneath. 107. What does it mean? 107's the police code for an unconscious or a dead person. <laughs> That's a little grim. I don't make the rules. I sure as hell don't follow them either. Okay. It's a decorative plaque of some sort? Or an award for wood chopping? I don't really know. Hold on a second. Uh, sorry about that. I, um, I don't think I can get through that right now. It's covered in cobwebs. This hole leads to Flint's room. It's covered in cobwebs, though. That's so gross. Go in, Ted, and check it out. I'll wait for you here. I'm sorry, doll. As much as crawling through spider-infested holes sounds appealing to me. I have to pass. No, See, right. spiders tend to nest in my fur, and then I have to take no. a bath and go through this whole fumigation process. It's a mess. Okay. This won't work. It usually takes two or more of these. I just want to make sure. Oh, there's a case on the table. Oh, it's a cigar box. Never mind. Where is he? What, what the what? hell? What was that? I don't know, Ted. Lights? Tricks? Yeah, I guess. I'm getting too old for this. Thing. This thing. Yeah, sounds right. Not really. What in the world was that? That's it made me chop a little bit. Rust, we need a big favor. What's this about, Bear? Rusty, we need a battery for our flashlight. We thought you could help us out. Sure, I got batteries, but here's the problem, miss. If I give you a battery, I gotta shut down for the rest of the night, and I have to keep an eye out. We could take some of that edge off, Rust. Why don't you rest your eyes for a bit and let me and the doll here take over? You? <laughs> no offense, Bear. I respect you as much as anyone in Paper City, but this here is different. I don't think you could handle this red guy on your own. You should take care of Miss and Millie and leave the patrol to me. 
Are you saying I'm not qualified for watch duty? We have to wrap this thing up. Fast. There's a bottle of carrot juice in my desk that's longing for my return. We can keep an eye out for anyone suspicious in the meantime. Besides, you know I'm more than qualified. That nasty business from a couple of years ago, with them robots going missing. I was the one that brought that whole shady affair down and you know it. Are you trying to play me, Bear? I know you had nothing to do with that. That thing went so high up, there's no chance in hell Snoop like you even got close to wrapping it up. You seem to have blown a fuse there, Rust. It was me who cracked that case and I can prove it. I have the case file and the credentials, handed to me by the commissioner in my office somewhere. Okay, okay, settle down there, Bear. Let's make a deal. You show me the credentials and I'll hand over the battery. It's not that I don't believe you. I just want to make sure you're not playing me, is all. Can't you give us just one battery, Rusty? You'll still have a couple of them left, right? Here's the thing, little miss. It's a closed circuit. She knows. She's just playing on your soft side, Rust. Okay. Looks like we're going back Ted to the Amber, office. Move away. Oh my god, Ted. You're not supposed to read the brackets. A do-over? Keep it rolling! We should get to my office, doll. There's an old file I have to find. What's this whole deal about anyways? Why can't he just give us a battery? We can keep an eye out. Rust is having a hard time coping with what happened. He worked in that mill for over 20 years, and now suddenly he's got nothing to do. Let's just do this to humor him. Poor Rust. Okay, you're right. Let's find that file. I think by the time this is over, we're going to meet a lot of people in his position. Okay, back to Amber's room, and then we gotta go in the closet. Really alright? Let me check on her real quick. Be careful, you two. Okay, she's okay. There should be an old file here somewhere. Nasty business from a couple of years ago. The robot union hired me to look into several cases of robot kidnappings. I remember. That CEO of Illuminarium, Skinner, used robot parts to manufacture headlights at low prices. Yep, I brought down that whole shady deal. Almost got shot in the process. Rust finds me unqualified for lookout duty. Probably thinks I'm a burnout. You're not a burnout, Ted. I mean, you were more driven before, but I understand you've had a lot on your mind lately. Anyways, I'm really glad you're with me on this one. Sure thing, doll. What am I going to say no to you? Thanks, Ted. Don't mention it, partner. Okay, let's get the file. There. Is this it? Yep, that's the one. Let's head back to that hothead robot. Uh-oh. I think some bad's about to happen. Oh, thank God. I was worried. There you go, buddy. Signed and authorized by Commissioner Locke himself. Anyways, we really need that battery now, Rust. Time's a factor here. So it was you. I'll be damned. That was a big deal for us robots, you know? I always held you in high regard, Bear. But you just earned my utmost admiration, let me tell you. You can have my battery. I can use a little shut-eye, to be honest. Keep an eye out, and keep little miss here safe. Oh, and check on Millie from time to time. Make sure she's alright. Thanks, Rust. We won't let you down. Thank you so much, Rusty. Get some sleep. We'll wake you up in the morning. Okay. Hey, I got it working. Fear of the Dark Achievement Unlocked. Surprisingly, this is a really cute game, but I didn't really see that many people on YouTube that had played it. Because I had looked into it before, and to see like, if it was like an overplayed game. Otherwise I would have just played it like for myself. This duster may come in handy. I'll take it with me just in case. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who will 
be a beautiful princess who's bound to live a long and happy life in a castle somewhere in France. <laughs> we'll have lots of ponies. Um, you are Amber, like for toads. I knew it. Did that thing just talk? I don't know. Did it? Oh my gosh. Okay. Making sure there's nothing any else in here for me to grab. To remember that grumpy products are right there. Don't think I need anything else in here currently, so let's get out. We'll check on Lily again before we head over to the study. <gasps> Have you see What's seen happening? him yet? What is this? Doll, you seeing this? I I I don't know, Ted. What There's was eyeball that? on the it's floor. Fine. It's nothing, probably. It's the middle of the night and the light is playing tricks on us. Let's go. She looks alright. Be careful, you two. Alright. Just wanted to make sure, because he made a point to remind us that we need to keep an eye on uh, out on Millie. Wonder, do I have anything that can get that key down? Don't think so. There, I cleaned it up. Go crawl through. Why don't you crawl through? Obviously, I can't fit. Otherwise, I would totally do it. Sure you would. Okay, we're just heading now. Oh my gosh, it scared me. <laughs> the case was spinning out of control so fast I had to hold up my hat. Nothing made sense, and it was getting more twisted by the minute. We've come across an old buddy of mine who has suddenly found himself out of purpose and place. The steel mill where Brazi worked for years got blown to bits. A hard work on his people lost their jobs overnight. The police are writing it off as an accident. Coincidentally, there were a lot of accidents this past week. The whole damn city was burning up and no one was doing anything about it. Did I pick the wrong time to get out of that dump? According to Rust and Miller, one man is responsible for all this mayhem. In one week, He's become a synonym for fear throughout the city, and police and thugs alike shuddering at the mention of his name. Black. They call him the Red Man. I have a strong feeling in my gut. It's all somehow connected to my retirement, the fires, and the official cover-up. What happened to Flint, the Red Man? It's all leading to her. Wait. I her a cat? Her dad's a cat? All of this. The last piece of the Saul, does she know more than she's led me to believe? Or have I let my suspicions get the better of me? It's hard for me to admit this. It's also downright stupid. But I've let myself trust her over the years we've worked together. And I have to trust her now. Sooner or later, we'll find ourselves back in that hell of the city. This bond I have with her will be the only threat I'll have to hold on to when things go bad to in Paper City, all bets are off, but the stakes were never as high as now. Okay. I'll just sell this sword, buy some revives for later. feeling I'd find you two lurking around. How is it that whenever something fishy goes down, you two are peeking around the corner? Save your monologues for the shower, Snoop. We didn't do it. And what exactly didn't you do? 
Whatever you're implying we did or didn't do. So you did it? It depends. Depends on what? If we did whatever you're hinting that we did, or for that matter didn't do, and if the answer might incriminate us to a certain degree, then as a fact, I can state that we didn't do it. See? But if not doing it, whatever it is you're implying we did or didn't do would put us in the same position as in the previous statement, considering it was true, then we certainly did do it. <sighs> This is going nowhere. If you weren't a crook, you could have had a career as a lawyer. Although the two aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah? Well, if you weren't a snoop, you could have had a career as a drunk. Although the two aren't mutually exclusive. See? Don't act smart with me, lowlife. I'll take you downtown faster than you can say I'm guilty. Now start spilling the beans, or this friendly get-together might turn out ugly for you, too. Where is Flint? Ashwood, heard about the bread man. Why are you here? Why'd you escape the city? Where is Flint Ashworth? Beats me. He wasn't here when we arrived. Is he missing? Got this two tickets of Friday and Barbershop Quartet. Got this official letter. I don't understand the top two. I'll go with the official no, letter. I just got an official letter from the studio executives. They've pushed back the deadline. I just wanted to inform him he's not getting drawn or animated for this episode. Oh, it's a tragedy when that happens. Those corporate suits. They're always standing in the way of true creativity. Shut up, John John. He's just pulling your leg. So you're saying you had nothing to do with his disappearance? Who do you take us for, Snoop? We ain't no kidnappers. The kid probably went to see his friends or something, see? Besides, he's a tough kid. I'm sure he's fine. Sure, because kidnapping is way over the line for you two. It's one of the few things missing from your M.O. Maybe you thought you should step up the game. Who put you up to it? Whoa, whoa, as I said, we ain't no kidnappers, see? We may have our differences, you and I, but you know we would never go as far. Hmm. All right, you're off the hook for now. Hmm. The Red Man you next. You two lowlifes heard anything about the Red Man? We might have heard something. My memory's a bit fuzzy these days, see? Better cooperate, I can do easy on you, and we can... If you tell me what you know, maybe I'll go easy on you with the beating. Why do you have to get all physical? So far, you don't have anything on us that would justify this type of behavior, see? Violence is never an answer, Snoop. It is, with you two. So, why are you here, exactly? That's none of your business, Snoop. Listen here, you lowlife. I know you operate on the west side these days. I've seen you down with your face in the mud coming out from those 24-hour carrot bars near the harbor. I know you've seen things. You two better start being useful. Or else. Oi, oi, Copernicus, how about you take a long walk down the short pier, see? We ain't seen nothing. We're just a couple of them hard-working individuals, see? We know our rights. We pay them taxes and such. What's a snoop like you even gonna do? You ain't a cop, see? You got that right, pal. I ain't a cop. That just means I can throw a couple of knuckle sandwiches your way before I take you two lowlifes in. Not that anyone would care. I can just say I found you that way, or that the Reef King got to you before I did. Maybe it's time you leave two exemplary citizens like us alone and find yourself someone else you can bother, see? I hear that crazy old coot's been chasing seagulls down at the harbor lately. Maybe he can help you, see? CBG. Haven't seen him in a while. You're saying he knows something. It's worth a shot, ain't it? It's not like you're getting anywhere with us. It's just that getting the information out of him might prove to be quite a task, see? Don't worry about that. Me and him go back a long way. He'll talk to me. Why'd you escape the city? Who says we escaped? Me and John John just came to enjoy ourselves out in the country, see? We might take up fishing or hiking. Yeah, those types of things. That's just great news, Jimmy. I love it here. It's so relaxing. Sure, and your escape had nothing to do with the recent activities regarding the Red Man. What Red Man? Also, Snoop, Native American is the proper nomenclature, I do believe. You know who I'm talking about, so stop playing dumb. Not you, big guy. I know you can't help it. Help what? What are we talking about? Forget it. <laughs> I just don't get why you would protect someone that made you flee the city in the middle of the night. Hold on there, Snoop. We're not protecting anyone. It's just that this guy, he's not your average sap, see? Your memory's getting a bit better, eh? Hey, we want to see this all sorted out as much as anyone. With all the folks leaving the city, it's, well, it's bad for business. Sure, sure. I can only imagine. What do you know about it? Not much. And the things we heard are mostly just stories. He's setting fires and whatnot down in the city. Wants to see it all burn, see? No one will stop this guy, Snoop. 
Not even you. He's the reckoning this city was due for. He won't stop until everything is dust, and we lie forgotten in the sands of time. What? What the hell are you talking about, John John? Don't listen to him. He had a rough night. Mm. Well, you two were useful as always. I have to go. When I come back, I hope, for your sake, nothing will be missing. Besides the kid, you mean? You trying to be funny, or you got the sudden urge to confess? The first one. Yeah. See you later, Snoop. You better believe it. One more thing. You didn't find a key by any chance lying around the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. It was just lying on the floor. That's what I thought. How about you hand it over to me? I'll keep it safe for you guys. Sure thing, there you go. Now don't go telling people we never helped you. It's like we're partners now, see? Sure. Okay, I got a thing. Well, this thing really stands out. We'll have to find another way. Can you maybe the sword? No. So I'm gonna have to come back to get that at some point. Those two clowns are in there, not being useful as always. Did you ask them about Flint? I did. They didn't know anything. I think they're just hiding from someone. The Red Man? That's my best bet, but who knows with those two. So Flint's not in there? No. What should we do, Ted? We have to find him. Well, we're not going to find him standing here. We should check other rooms. Maybe he's hiding somewhere. Mugshots gave me this key to your parents' room that they mm, totally just found lying on the floor. We should start there, then. Such forward ideas. You're going to be a fine detective one day. Thanks, Bear. You, too. Alright, now let's try the sword on this you key. You with it? Nope. We'll have to find another way. Okay, rest is still out. So here's the key. It's unlocked. Hope I don't get into trouble over this. Oh, his ears are just cute. Okay. Take the camera. I like that flower pot, it's cute. I'll take this film strip with me. Maybe I can develop it later. Okay. Some weird plant is sticking out of it. Dark room. Like a photo place? No. Or dark room, I don't understand. Darker. A book titled, I guess developers are dummies. There we go. It was the number from the statue. Not a police code huh. or anything, Mr. I don't follow no rules. Hey, these are the liquids for developing pictures. I'll take them with me. Okay. There. We just need the empty photo thingy to put it in. We can get it from that machine over there. You know how to use that thing? Not yet, but I was voted most likely to figure stuff out in my school once. Hey, um... Oh, go get the duct tape. Probably gonna need that. I'll take this tape with me. I can use it to tape Ted to a flagpole. <laughs> I can't use 
Okay, she said something about in that machine unit over there. Let's go look Just at stuff. a bunch of stuff used to develop photos. Okay, let's take the Latin image. That's what I needed. Nothing happened. There's something missing. Oh, I need to combine them? I don't think so. Come on. I don't think so. Hmm. Used to develop photos, then you hang them up and let them dry. Fascinating stuff. Okay. Nothing happened. There's something missing. But you let me click combine them. I don't think so. I don't think so. Just some canisters filled with some... Seems like it's empty. You can pour something in it. It has measuring units on the side. Not that I would know any... Guess this room isn't so dark. Extremely breakable. If I had a sharp piece of bamboo and some sugar water, I could lure fire in jeans. You know your house, huh? Going through trash is not on my... Just a bunch of stuff. Can I get the tweezers? Oh, okay. Nothing happened. Okay. Now we get. There. Is it over? Is that it? Looks the same to me. Some detective you are. Obviously something happened. We need to use the developing liquids now, and then we get the photo. I don't know why I'm doing this. Oh my gosh, a picture of the red man in the house. Oh my god, Ted. That's him. That's the red man. He's in my house. Okay, calm down. That could be anyone. Oh, no, it's him. He's in my house and he did something to Flint. I have to find mom and dad. Wait, don't be so rash. There's probably an explanation for this. Don't get your parents involved, doll. They're having a hard time as it is. Uh, this could be just a prank is all I'm saying. We should get back to Millie. Okay, yeah, I just... You're right. Other achievement, photo development, one more one. You have to wait, though. The room is locked by a mechanism connected to that machine over there, and it will unlock in a couple of minutes. My dad made it like this so no one would barge in and light up the room when he's developing photos. All right, so we wait. So, how have you been lately? <gasps> oh, no. Am I going to have to go after Millie? Oh no. Oh, I don't want him to attack Millie. Millie's so sweet. Don't hurt Millie.
Fred has left the building. I get the feeling there's more than one ending because of what just happened. Millie, are you okay? We heard a scream. Oh, thank goodness you're here. It was him, the Red Man. You just missed him. We found a photo. He's in my house, Millie. You just missed him. He must have heard you two coming, because he jumped out the window seconds before you came in. I can't imagine what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. It's okay, Millie. We're here now. You're safe. We should get moving. Is there any entrance to the city we can use at the moment? There's one in the attic. Maybe we can use that one. Yeah, good idea. Let's head out. What about Millie? Are we gonna leave her alone? What if the Red Man shows up? She'll be fine. Millie's a tough broad. She'll probably whack the hell out of him until he's had enough and surrenders to local authority. Millie, are you gonna be fine on your own? Don't worry about me, little miss. I'll go and find some place to hide. You two better be careful out there. I'll just take the nail with me. The uses for it are practically endless. Since I'm paying for the view, I might as well enjoy it. Alright guys, it's a good part, it's officially done. So please leave a like, comment if you wish, and sub for more people. I am out. Bye.